Well, as always, good start to the morning. I was just heading in the wrong direction. So I just got off the train to go to the other side, but turns out that same train was heading back. So it's like I just gotta wait for it again. Good morning everyone and welcome back to Kuala Lumpur again. That's right, I'm back in Kuala Lumpur for the next few days, but this is my last destination before I have to head back home to Australia, so I'm getting really, really excited for that. Um, today, I heard there's a big event going on, so it's like a Malaysian Independence Day. So I heard there was going to be street parades, like just along the street. They've closed all the streets off and everything. And they said be here at 8 a.m. This is what I read online, but there's nothing happening at the moment. So hopefully there will be a parade later. Um, but I'm staying at an awesome place too. So it's called KL Skyline Hostel, but it's like on a penthouse. So I get the best view of the city and it is so amazing. The sun rises every morning. Um, and last night they had a big firework show going on as well. But it was a little bit disappointing because the main fireworks um, was sort of hiding behind all the buildings, but it was still cool to see. And at the hostel as well, they have like um, a rooftop pool, like an infinity pool. So I really enjoy checking out that pool every day. Um, but I'm very not well today for some reason. I was sort of debating whether to come out or not, because I just woke up feeling horrible, but I just couldn't not come because this is my last few days in Malaysia and I really want to see the street parade if 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 there is a street parade <laughs> but we'll see we shall see Come on, Google, you're giving me false information here. It specifically said the parade's gonna start at eight and finish at 10. And I just asked the local and he said the parade's gonna start around 10. So I guess I'll just get some brekkie and chill out for a bit. Well, I give up. It's past 10 o'clock now and there's still no street parade. Like, I don't know where the heck it is. I was looking on Google again and um, like on one Google site it says it's here at 7 a.m. but then another one says it's in a totally different area at 7 a.m. but now it's 10 a.m. and there's just nothing <laughs> so I'm not even gonna bother I'm sorry guys no street parade today but this means this is the last video in Malaysia this is my end of the trip Sad to say, but I'm also getting very excited to head back home to Australia. Like, believe it or not, it has been six months, almost six months since I've been back home. So I'm getting so, so keen to get back home. And especially for my brother's wedding because we are going to be going on a 10 day cruise. So this is gonna be my first cruise ever and it's my brother's wedding. So it's gonna be absolutely epic. And I will be making videos on that too. But I have, I'm just gonna wait for this car. I have had an absolutely amazing time here in Malaysia. Like, if you want a quick itinerary, I remember everywhere I've been. So I'll give you a quick itinerary right now, Malaysia, if you've got a month to spare, not even a month, if you've got at least three weeks to spare, then you can do this. So I started in Kuala Lumpur, did a couple days here, and then I went up to Cameron Highlands, probably spend two days there, then go to Penang for a few days, Langkawi, Perintians, Perintian Islands is definitely the highlight of my whole trip. If you like diving, you would probably want to spend a whole week there. Um, then after that, I went to Tamanagara. So Tamanagara wasn't as good as I thought, but it's still nice to see. And then back to Kuala Lumpur. And also, if you're around Kuala Lumpur, definitely check out Batu Caves because that is well worth a visit. So yeah, there you go. There's an awesome quick 
uh, Malaysian itinerary and yeah I've just had an absolutely great month checking out all those places but that is the end and I have many more exciting travel trips though ahead of me um, so I think I'm gonna be home for maybe like one whole month and then after that I'm gonna be heading back over to Asia I'm not going to tell you exactly where I'm going to be going because I'm going to keep it a secret at the moment and I'm not 100% sure if that's going to be my actual travel plans but we shall see <laughs> if it is my plans they're going to be very exciting and I'm sorry to say again that there was no parade today but I'll just explain Google for that because they gave me incorrect information <laughs> um, I hope you guys have been enjoying my journey throughout all of Asia though I have been having such a great time and thanks to every single one of you guys for subscribing. It really makes a difference. But um, seeing that I didn't give you too much today to offer, I will give you one last video of an amazing sunset. But until then, follow your dreams, escape comes down, and I'll see you back in Australia. Woo!